everyone, got a brand new movie review for you guys today, and today I'm discussing Hold the Dark. Hold the Dark's a brand new Netflix original film directed by Jeremy Soliner, and it's about, it's about a man named Russell Crowe. After the deaths of three children are suspected to be killed by wolves, a writer who has been known to kill wolves is hired by a parent of a missing six-year-old boy to track down and locate their son in the Alaskan wilderness. This film stars Jeffrey Wright, Alexander Skarsgård, and man, I was really looking forward to this movie. One being Green Room was one of my favorite films of that year when it came out. If you haven't seen it, I do recommend it. But the thing about this director is he's known for his brutality. He's known for his graphicness. And I was going to the Hold the Dark. I didn't see a trailer. I didn't really know much about it going in. I knew the synopsis. I knew who was in it. And I definitely knew who was directing it. And I have to say, I didn't love this movie, but I still really enjoyed it. Now, coming off of Green Room again, which Green Room I loved, I understood the hate on it because some people didn't love it. The thing about Hold the Dark that I think it does a little bit better is it does make us care about our characters. I understand and learn to care about Jeffrey Wright's character, Russell Corr, and I understood a lot of his motivations and what he wanted to do. Now, that he was, is a very reserved character, but you can kind of understand why he is there as the story entails. And the movie is two hours and five minutes. I do find that to be a little bit too long for this movie because it is more of a slow burn than more of his other films. But the thing with this movie is that it does grip you from the opening scene and that it, as much as it looks like it's going to be this... Oh, it's just this typical mystery thriller. No, it turns into something different. And I liked where it was going. It doesn't answer every question you want, but maybe it wasn't supposed to. And it's a film that just is here to tell the story and tell you the story that it wants you to know. And that's what I liked. I liked the perspective that the director and writer took on this film because this is the first time the director actually hasn't written his own movie. It's written by Matt, Mac and Blair, who written quite a, a few other films and appeared in a couple things. And he's a great actor, too, and a good writer. And I like the script that he put in here. And the thing that the director captured so well within this movie is how like intense it is and the wilderness theme of being in alaska it's freezing it's cold and the, th the title hold the dark really does have more than just the darkness tone to it but it's more of a more of a thing that fits within the film there's lots of moments where it takes place at night and man it is just dark and it's meant to be there it's chilling it's haunting at times and it's, you kind of feel yourself getting cold with these characters, which is something I wasn't used to. It, it felt like unnerving to me. And I like when a film can get me there. The way that this film ends up going is nowhere in a very predictable manner. It's very different. And by the end of the film, you're sitting there like, not feeling totally relieved, but enough to be like, a breath air. And I really enjoyed what the director brought to that again after going on this two hour and five minute journey. And I do find the film to be a little bit too long. And I will go as far to say again, as much as the story doesn't lead on for you to know everything about it, that's where I got a little bit frustrated because as the story's going on, I wanted to know a couple more different things that the story focused on, but it never went into grave detail on. And you're just left sitting there theorizing and thinking about which again isn't a bad thing, I like when films touch on that, but the way that the film portrayed itself wasn't that type of movie. It was more of a straightforward type of movie that has some twists and turns and ends up being something else that you understand but you also kind of don't understand. You want a little bit more background history on, you kind of want a little bit more closure to certain things, but I guess you understand. that. That's kind of where the film gets you. And it, it sounds a little bit confusing because that's what the film leads you at being. The Dark is a very haunting and chilling mystery crime drama. It's very different from any of the other films he's ever done before. One of it being that, yes, it is gory and gruesome at times, and it is brutal. It's not over the top as much as Green Room was, but it does keep that same layer of action within it, where it's very subtle, and when it happens, it's going at all paces, and I love when it's going that route the title is very fitting for this film it is very hold the dark and i like sitting there it's thinking okay like it's trying to keep me in the darkness on some things and makes me want to think about those things but at times it also made me a little bit frustrated because i wanted to know more things about this world you get me on this journey for two hours and five minutes and i don't get all the answers Come on now. The film is greatly acted by every single person here. Alexander Skarsgård always turns up in these little small performances in these independent films. It really blows me away, but Jeffrey Wright is the big outstanding star again. This guy is so criminally underrated in Hollywood. Man, he's great in Westworld if you haven't watched it, but he's great in here and I love seeing him pop up in this film as well. Action's good and the cinematography, my god, is a is a outstanding. You really do feel cold going throughout this Alaskan wilderness. So with all that said, I'm going to give Hold the Dark a B-.
this is a Netflix original, so you don't have to go to the theaters. I kind of wish I would have seen this in the theaters, and that's one thing I wish some Netflix originals would do is put it in theaters in one week, and that's it, and then just you can watch it on Netflix. I, I wish they would do that for certain films. I know they do it in LA, New York, but come on. Like, like, let's get some of these films on the theaters. I still recommend Hold the Dark. I want you guys to check it out, and after that, why not go check out Green Room? I think Green Room is the one that... You either love or you hate, and it's one of those movies that I think is worth checking out. Anyway, guys, what are your guys' thoughts on Hold the Dark? Have you guys watched it? Are you excited to watch it this weekend on Netflix? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Of course, if you're new here, hit up Sandwich on Films also down below, because if you guys want to go see some movies early, not just on Netflix, perhaps, but if you want to see early movies like First Man, Bad Times at the El Royale, maybe even Venom, go check us out on our website. Sometimes we do get give out advanced movie screens, plus we do some movie news and even movie reviews over there. Of course, guys, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching, and... Stay classy.